This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony K. Greetings and welcome to episode 170 of the Project Gemini Update. 170 episodes, can you believe it? Uh, so how's everybody doing out there? Uh, it's been a while since I've done my last video. Uh, three weeks, apparently, according to YouTube. And uh, that's pretty much the reason why I'm here right now. Uh, besides the fact that it's been three weeks that I've done it, um, there's been quite a few of you uh, supporters who have been texting me and messaging me and asking me if things are okay because I've not been on here very much doing things. Um, asking if things are okay, what's going on, any updates. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you that I'm fine. Everything's great with me. I feel really good. Uh, in fact, I probably felt, well, apart from my arm like my elbow here is kind of swollen I've, you know it's a, it has to do a bit with the arthritis that i have to deal with it's kind of crept into my elbow a bit so it's been a little bit of a sore spot uh but other than that i, f I feel pretty good uh you know been enjoying the summer weather and uh you know taking the dog out when i can and believe it or not i've been doing a lot of stuff musically um the reason why i haven't been on here very much telling you is because I'm sort of in a holding pattern as far as the Project Gemini vinyl release of In the Year 3073 Book 2. Now, Book 3, excuse me. Book 3 is concerned. Um, I've been messaging them, asking them what's going on, and they just keep telling me the same thing. And I, it's not that I don't believe I believe them that, you know, we're in line. You know what I mean? So, uh, but I'm hoping that anytime soon I should get the album covers. Usually they give me the album covers first, you know, then I'll take you, you know, I'll do a video and show you guys the cover in its full glory. And I get to spend an afternoon or two signing them all and uh, putting in the posters and the, uh, the download cards and, you know, doing all the prep work that I get to do, which I enjoy doing, actually. Uh, and then giving it back to Train Records and then awaiting the next phase. And then usually after that, I get the test pressings in. And then once I get the test pressings, then it's just a matter of not too long after that then i get the proper full product so fingers crossed um sh these things should be coming sooner than later i'm just as impatient about it as, as you guys are i mean I'm, I'm gonna just say this impatient is the incorrect word because you guys have been actually excellent i mean i have gotten no complaints really about it uh mainly i think because you guys are really well informed and very well educated as far as what's happening in the vinyl world as far as you know the overload that is happening at, at vinyl pressing plants. I mean, there is delays for everybody, big bands, small bands, medium bands. We all have to wait. Um, of course, some guys who might, you know, here's an extra 50 G's from, you know, Universal Music might get bumped at the front of the line. But for us people who, you know, have to go through regular channels, uh, we have to wait and get in line and get our stuff done when the moment comes. Uh, but you know, I was assured that I'll get it by the latest, probably September, maybe October. Uh, so I really hope I get it before Thanksgiving. I really want to get it out to you guys before that. Um, but, you know, I am I have to just wait and see. So everything's fine with me. Everything's good. Um, you know, no need for any concern. In fact, uh, in the meantime, as you know, I, I, have, I had released a digital only uh album of my Mark Anthony K and the Lower Third Collective, a full length. Uh, thank you to everybody who has supported it. Uh, if you don't have a copy, I'll leave a link here at the at the bottom somewhere here. I don't know where this. Yeah, somewhere there. Uh, if you want to check it out and grab a copy, your support is highly uh, appreciated. Uh, in that sense. Uh, like I said, all these digital releases, just so you guys know, mainly my digital releases are meant not only for you guys to enjoy the music, and I love the music that I do there, uh, but it's it's helped it helps fund you know other projects. You know, 
uh, the money that I get from the digital stuff, I put right back into doing CD releases and vinyl releases because, you know, as you know, everything <clears throat> costs money. And now with the way things are, things get more expensive as it, as time goes on for some reason. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, I did that. And as of right now, as of <clears throat> July 11th, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I have one more song to do guitar solos for, and then I have to do a couple of keyboard solos, and I've completed, or we, me and Joe Bailey, have completed the next Dark Monarchy album. We still don't have a title for it yet, but, <clears throat> and I know this is cliche to say everybody says this, but I have to say it it, it really is our, our best work. Um, <clears throat> mainly because I think that we kind of approach this a little bit differently, not in the way that we write or not in the way that we approach it, but in the sense that because we had other things going on at the time while we were doing this album, we didn't really pressure ourselves to get it, get it done by a deadline. And because of that, we kind of gave it a little extra thought, a little extra, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little extra polish. Like, a few times I've noticed where I did like a vocal or I did like a guitar solo or even just a regular rhythm guitar track, I listen back to it and say, yeah, it's really good, but could I, could I do it better? Let, let, you know, let me spend a little bit of extra time and do it. And, and that's something that I don't really do too often because I am also a believer in, you know, seizing the moment. You know, sometimes when you do things over and over and over and over again, you lose the feel of it and you lose, lose, the, lose the excitement of it. So I'm not a big believer in that, but this time I, I kind of did it differently where I listened to it after I had recorded it, go back to it and approach it with fresh ears and did maybe another one or two fresh takes of it. And sometimes those new fresh takes were, were in fact better, not only uh, in feel, but in technical performance too. So the, the songs sound fantastic. And we really were nitpicky in a lot of areas of, in, on this album, and I think it shows. Uh, again, we have eight songs recorded for it. There's no way there's going to be all eight on the album because we have a 10-minute song. Every other song is pretty much eight minutes long. There's another nine-minute song, so it'll just be way too long a record, in my opinion. So it'll probably end up being a five-song record uh, with three songs left that we'll put into an EP form again. <clears throat> Which five will make the record, who knows, but I can tell you this, they'll be fantastic songs. Um, but getting back to the Project Gemini end of things, again, I'm just waiting for stuff <clears throat> from Train Records to happen. And uh, once this Dark Monarchy record is done, like as far as the recording end of it and stuff like that, uh, and I do the mix, which usually doesn't take me too long, uh, I am going to start on the next Project Gemini record. I've already had ideas floating around. Uh, it's not going to be a concept record. I'm just going to do another regular record, kind of like how I did uh, Man of Science, Man of Dreams. That was not a concept record. It was just songs that are, you know, I wrote that ended up having a sort of scientific theme behind it. But um, I'm just going to write what I want to write and uh, see what comes out. And I've already had a couple of ideas I put. I already have a Project Gemini album number seven folder on the computer here that I've been working on. So a next Project Gemini record will come out. Uh, when? I don't know, but, you know, I'm pretty inspired lately, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so hopefully the inspiration will appear on the music and we'll get another good album out of it. Um, yeah, so other than that, things have been going really good. I hope all you guys out there are doing really good. Uh, this, I mean, it's the summertime. I know a lot of my friends and supporters out there are, you know, taking advantage of the summertime. I remember uh, seeing somewhere that Anthony... Uh, a good friend of mine and a supporter of this channel uh, went up to his cottage with his boat and put some really fantastic video <coughs> video images of him on the lake, which, you know, it's fantastic. Up here in Canada, we have some really great uh, lakes and uh, cottage country area where people can enjoy and get away from all the hustle and bustle of the city life. And honestly, if I could afford a cottage, I would get one and I would probably be up there every other weekend. Of course, I'd probably put a little you know, put a little small studio up there just so I can work as well. But <clears throat> I think I would enjoy being up there and, you know, being one with nature and going into the, going on the water with a boat and stuff. Like that. I think it's fantastic. So I know a lot of people are enjoying the summer. A lot of people are finally getting out and taking some vacation time and traveling. Now that, you know, travel has been loosened 
as far as the restrictions are concerned. So uh, it's good to see. I'm, I'm happy for all these people who are going out there and getting back into normal life again, uh, you know, and taking advantage of the great weather. Uh, tonight here, in, we're supposed to get a thunderstorm and some wind. Uh, fingers crossed that it's not going to be anything crazy like that one day on, on the, in the May long weekend that we had where the tree dropped in my front yard and almost smashed my window in the front. Um, from all message, from all intensive purposes and all the messages I have here, including the weather app that I have on my phone here, there is no real messaging right now as far as any weather alerts uh, for anything crazy like that. So, I, you know, and I'm keeping an eye on that because I, you know, I, I don't want to go through that again. It was pretty hair raising and pretty, pretty nuts as far as, you know, having to take care of, you know, the aftermath, so to speak. So, yeah, it says here pretty much that it's just going to be rain and some thunderstorms later, th mainly throughout the, the late night, like when I'm when everyone's sleeping. And apparently by 6 a.m., it's already going to be back to sunny. The The last showing of thunderstorms is 5 a.m. I, I know that you, you probably don't even really give a shit about that, to be honest. I'm sure you don't want a weather report from Canada, but... You know, just keeping you up to date on what's going on on my end of things here. Uh, but yeah, so that's, you know, preparing for the big storm tonight. Uh, hopefully it won't be anything major, like I said. And, you know, and also I've been uh, hired or, or yeah, hired, I guess is the right word, <clears throat> uh, to master an album for a band. I'm not going to say who it is yet because, you know, until I get the stuff and start rolling, it's official. Uh, then I'll talk about it after, but I, I am mastering a band's full-length album. I'm very excited about it. I already got one of their songs in. Uh, I did a test for them to see if they were happy with my results of my work, and they loved it. So I'm getting the full nine-song album, I believe, nine song. And uh, yeah, so a little extra uh, work that I love doing, which is the, the mastering end of things, and some extra money that could come in very handy at this time of the year with... You know, the government and their stupid property taxes and all kinds of stuff. Hey, it's a welcome extra injection of funds. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, I thought this minute, I, I honestly thought this video was going to be like three minutes long, you know, because I didn't have too much to talk about. But in the end, you know, I look at the timer, it's almost 12 and a half minutes. So there you go. You, you know, something from nothing. There you go. So uh, I hope you guys all have a great evening or afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. Uh, please, uh, if you have any questions about the album or anything else, feel free to contact me. I do enjoy talking to you guys on Messenger and stuff like that too. So uh, yeah, so uh, keep in touch. And I promise I'll try to be more, uh, you know, more communicative through this medium. And, uh, you know, but I, I need something to talk about. I just want, just want to come on here and say hi, you know, like a deer in headlights and say really nothing. So uh, hopefully I'll have more to talk about soon and, and good stuff that you guys will, will want to hear about. Okay, so until next time, be safe out there. Uh, enjoy the summertime. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Take care and have a great night.